My name is Moses Rouse from Marty, South Dakota. My family is a victim of criminal court corruption. All right, we're rolling. Uh, Moses, do you want to be sitting in this chair answering questions? Yes, sir. Um, what's your relationship to the, uh, the, the men that are in prison? My father is Jesse Rouse, and the others are my uncles. And were you there in uh, Marty when this uh, uh, police SWAT team arrived and took the children away? Yes, I was. You want to tell us what you remember about that? How old were you? I can't remember how old that was. How old are you now? I'm 30 right now. So, 11 maybe, 10 or 11? Somewhere around there. Uh, what do you remember happening? Did you stick around for long? I remember a bunch of people coming in, taking my cousins, and grabbing my dad and my uncles, and I didn't want to get taken, so I jumped out of a window, a bathroom window, and I ran. Fast. Did they catch you? Nope. Did anybody else succeed in getting away from him, or were you the only one? I asked my cousin Jerome to follow me, but he didn't want to. Uh, you on the track team? No. <laughs> you probably could. I know how to get away, though. Um, how has all of this affected you? It's affected me a lot. Uh, ripped our family apart. They took my dad away. How close were you and your dad? Like this. Did you, do you have any uh, trust in the government and the judicial and legal system? No. Did you before this happened? I didn't really didn't really know anything about it, so I didn't, I never knew anything about police or how bad they could be, you know. I always thought they was there to help. Uh, as I understand it, you spoke with the authorities at some point, and uh, can you tell us what you told, told them? Do you remember? I never spoke to no cops or anything. Did you speak to uh, any of the uh, social services people or? A uh, lawyer. A lawyer? Okay. I don't know which lawyer it was, though. Okay. Well, uh, do you believe it was one of the attorneys? Uh, could it have been your dad's lawyer? I don't know. Okay. But it was one of the attorneys representing one of the guys? Yeah. It wasn't the prosecutor? The one who was out to get him in trouble? No. All right, and well, what did you tell him? Or him or her? Uh, basically, we was young and we was playing house. So the adults were playing house or the kids? Kids. Right. And so um, uh, you, I, I hate to ask you to explain, but uh, you want to explain for folks just broadly what playing uh, house meant? Kissing. Okay. More than that? No. Okay. All right. So y'all were just uh, pretending you were married couples or whatever? Something like that. Something like that. And is that all that happened in the house? Yeah. And did the adults see this or was this at a time when they went around? No, it's like outside stuff, you know. You lived in the house where this allegedly took place? Yeah. And uh, if, if uh, your uh, uh, sister, 
cousins, nieces, nephews, little children had been involved in being sexually assaulted and raped, do you think it could have been kept a secret from anybody? Not at all. You want to say that because my voice isn't heard, say it just couldn't have happened. Nobody, everybody would have known. Mm -hmm. There's, there was so many people in that house, there was no, there wasn't enough time for anybody to be physically molested or anything like that. There's, there's no way. Um, have you gotten to see your dad much? I visited him twice. Once in... Wisconsin, and the other one was in Pennsylvania. You want to show me again how close the two of you were? And you want to talk to him and send a message to him? I love you, Dad. I love all you guys. Hopefully to see you soon. Okay. Anything else you want to say? I just hope they get out because they're in there for no reason, just for what people said, and they hated us for some reason, I don't know why. The judicial system is, it's wrong.